Tony, is Michigan playing better football than Ohio State right now? Which half? Because they were down 17-14 at the half against Rutgers, and then they scored, what, 38 points in the second half. Uh, you look at in Big Ten play, their average score at halftime is 14 to 10, Michigan leading 14 to 10 over really? Indiana, Penn State, you know, all Iowa. Ohio State's average score at halftime is like 23 to 10. And I think um, Ohio State's average score, the second half might be a little bit lower as you do the math there. But, you know, Michigan's still playing into the fourth quarter a lot of these games, where Ohio State isn't necessarily playing into the fourth quarter when you're already leading by 42 points in the third quarter. But is Michigan playing better than Ohio State right now at times? And, you know, there's – they take it – Michigan takes advantage of turnovers. Rutgers threw two interceptions really quick in that third quarter to basically um, – you know, actually three, three, three interceptions, I think, in the third quarter that turned into a quick 21 points for Michigan. So if you don't give them something, they're not as good – and, you know, Ohio State ran the ball better than Michigan did against Rutgers if you're looking for other comparisons. But it's a lot of words to say, yeah, Michigan's probably playing better than Ohio State at, at times, but Ohio State's also playing better than Michigan at times. If there's only one way, there's only some way we could just get them on the field together to figure it out. To settle it, they've had four common opponents. Uh, of the other five opponents, I believe Michigan's five other opponents have 18 combined wins. And Ohio State's five other com opponents have 20 combined wins. So the difference in schedule, at least in terms of wins, and I'm giving Michigan credit for UConn, which is five and five, playing an independent schedule. Uh, I mean, if you had UConn over four wins before the season, uh, you know, bully for you, because I don't think anybody thought that they were going to do much of anything. I mean, they beat Boston College, which so be it. Doesn't mean a whole lot this year, but uh, – you know, again, we're splitting hairs. If that's what we're worried about, as, as you guys have said, the neat thing is they're going to settle this one on the field. So there you go. Michigan's run defense has been fantastic all year long. And they've held like, I don't know, six of their opponents under 100 yards rushing. So um, Ohio State's going to need to do something there. But even if, if they can't run the ball as much as they'd like, they can still throw it. And they threw the ball really well against Michigan last year. But it, it resulted in, what, a 15-point loss but this is also a different Ohio State defense, so we'll see. It sure is.